Okay, the question for this is how to include a JavaScript um, in your WordPress site. And um, the way I do that is I like to create a scripts file. Um, and I'm using, um, for style sheets, I use in WP in Q style and WP in Q script. Um, the way I do this is I create this and then I have a little includes folder right over here where I put a lot of different functions and different functionality and I split it up into different files. And over here I have a git template part includes slash scripts which is kind of like doing a uh, include or require in PHP. And you can see that my script is over here. I already have it open. Um, now um, this works with uh, an action and I have a add action and I say in Q, WP and Q scripts which is uh, just out of the box WordPress and I include this function which is right over here um, and you can see how this works um, which is nice about this convention is if you need to overwrite it for whatever reason if you call the uh, another if you include another one with the same exact name, you'll overwrite it. So that means that, let's say Font Awesome comes out with uh, another version and you want to include it in a plugin or something, um, this will overwrite it um, and you won't have the same file loaded twice, which is really important for things like jQuery or whatever when uh, things get overwritten. Or in this case where uh, WooCommerce has an issue with uh, cookies or jQuery cookie and it doesn't load on some servers uh, specifically mine I have to deregister it first by the name and then register it again by this name so I uh, can overwrite different things which makes it nice so um, the first thing what I do is I include JavaScript into a JS file or CSS into a CSS file and I call it. So I use this function called git template directory URI. And what this does is it literally gets whatever the URL of the directory is. So my uh, theme is called AquaGrid. So um, it would be uh, aquagrid.com slash WP uh, content slash themes slash AquaGrid and that's going to be right in here and then I do a whatever uh, sub category or sub uh, directory would be so CSS slash normalize and you can see the following over here now I'm gonna do a little example on how this is done um, by including a little test JavaScript file and we're going to go over here into JavaScript. And I'm going to make a test.js. I'm going to write it. And I'm going to say alert. This is a test. And I go back over here. And I'm going to just copy this. And call this test test this is the version number which is kind of convenient to do and we're gonna see if it if it actually worked and it should alert us with a test and yes it did um, furthermore just to understand kind of where this gets placed um, you can see that it should get placed somewhere around over here um, and the way this works is it gets placed in um, WP, you know, let's actually find it. Test.js is right over here. So you can see that it got loaded right after this, which is right after here. And we're gonna remove this for now. Um, but to understand, how this gets inserted, um, it uses 
either your header, depending if it's either true or false, and you can look at the documentation to understand a little more. Um, you can see WP head, and the other place that it also gets uh, inserted would be in your footer in uh, WP footer. Now, furthermore, uh, what I also like to do with this is um, what I did with like the map scripts. I only want to insert the script where I actually need it. So I create um, like a function, and let's do it for like maybe the test. So uh, let's actually go back and get my test directory or test function. And I'm going to create a function called test.js. And I'm going to enqueue this. Now, if I load this now, it's not going to overwrite. But now, let's say I want to use this one specific thing, uh, maybe some given feature that I need. Um, I can go over to, uh, let's say you're single, so it's only going to load on uh, uh, it's only going to load on like single pages. So on your posts, I'm going to just do our function. And now if I load this, it should not pop up. But now if I go to one of your the single pages, which actually doesn't have links, so let's uh, just go over and go to one of the posts so you can see it work. You can see now it works. So I reload this just so you can see it again. Since this is in the single, it's going to work. But now let's say you go to places, it shouldn't work because it doesn't actually um, have this. So that's how I can load scripts only when I need it while still keeping the conventions of WordPress. And what's nice is that it gets placed in an organized fashion uh, that's future proof and relatively easy to use. Um, so let me know if you have any questions. I will uh, talk to you soon.